When temperatures begin to rise across Virginia, a cool breeze blows through the ventilation sides of the Boston family's hoop house on their 164-year-old farm. Inside the structure, 100 raspberry plants flourish in three long rows. The plants begin bearing fruit this month through November, more than double their normal growing season in Orange County. Our main uh, piece that we're looking at is trying to grow it uh, a longer season, getting an earlier crop and getting a later crop. Instead of the raspberries fizzling out with the frost, um, they will go through November. Hoop houses, also known as high or tall tunnels, are similar to a greenhouse, but are covered in thick plastic sheeting instead of glass. Farmers like them because they are basically inexpensive greenhouses that do not require heating and cooling. If we have an insect problem, we can usually pick them off by hand and, and be done with it. Um, but also we don't, as soon as we pick the berries, they're fresh off of the canes and we can consume them. We don't have to spray them with chemicals to make sure that they don't mold. Um, and we can get them to our um, local area so that people can enjoy that good fruit. Last year, the U.S. Department of Agriculture began a three-year pilot program to provide $13 million to promote hoop houses and research their effectiveness for farmers in their land. The Bostons are switching their farm over from a beef cattle and hay operation to fruit and more sustainable agriculture. They found out about the USDA program and took advantage of the funding. More research and demonstration projects for hoop houses are also being conducted at Virginia State University near Petersburg. Meanwhile, Ellen Sneed and her husband have been using their high tunnel farming on their Spotsylvania County farm for more than 15 years. They grow asparagus fruit and Christmas trees on their family farm and in four high tunnels, beautiful lush tomato plants also grow. We've stayed with tomatoes because they're a high value crop and they 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 keep the diseases out they you know uh, are a perfect season extender so you get them in early mm -hmm. and you sell them late mm -hmm. and you can get perfect tomatoes the sneeds start their plants every year in their greenhouse and stagger the new plants throughout the high tunnels tomatoes grow well inside hoop houses because they do not receive rainfall so it helps prevent disease problems Typically a drip tap is used and they get watered heavily twice a day. Fertilizer is used sparingly as it goes straight to the plant's root system. They also bring in bumblebees, especially for pollination of the plants each year in the tunnels. The bees are uh, from a tropical en environment, uh -huh. and which this replicates the more of a tropical environment. And so the, the bees pollinate the crops and we do, we house bees in each uh, tall tunnel. And of course they fly in and out, but. They're here specifically for the tall tunnels. Hoop houses have been used extensively in Europe for some time and began catching on in the United States about a decade ago. For more information, go to va.nrcs.usda.gov. Reporting in Spotsylvania County, I'm Sherry McKinney.